In the quest for the one, there is so much to choose from on Koibo Island and its unexplored riches. The question becomes, which one? Should I chase the legend of the lost river with giant snook that have never seen a hook? Or do I go for monster rooster fish off its rocky drop-offs? This forbidding island off the coast of Panama offers quest after quest. And that's why I go back there every chance I can get. Coiba. Its isolation once made it the Alcatraz of Central America. Hard for a human to escape, but a rich habitat for sea life. All the Western Pacific game fish thrive here. Let you go. back on. You know when you get a hit. Okay. You now on this quest we're looking for a really huge rooster fish. Hopefully near world record class. A couple of elements here at Panama Big Game Club that really come into play. Look for some beach front that runs at least a half mile to a mile down the shore. Now 500 yards offshore you're going to see these huge outcroppings that you see behind me and down the shore. We've got the incoming tide that's bringing clean water in, easy to see the baits. These outlock croppings hold a lot of baits, sardines and blue runners. What we hope to find by fishing the edges of these is to find a big rooster. Now, big roosters are by themselves, they're loners. The smaller roosters are in running groups mainly, but the loners are always by themselves. One of the major thrills of fishing such productive waters is that you often don't know what's at the end of the line. Kind of like roulette with a fishing rod. This is a blue jack. You know, they're kind of rare around the world, but here they're pretty common. They are really cool looking fish. They're beautiful. Look at the colors on that. Blue jack. Now comes a voyage to the unknown. The sea has finally breached a sandbar, leading to a lost river. It hasn't been fished for years, but we may have a shot. I'm trying to get in this river mouth here at Koi Island for the last two days, this freshwater river that runs through the island. I mean, it certainly looks like, as you can see, it's Jurassic Park. We know there's a lot of tremendous size snook up there, the one that we're looking for. The problem I have here is we're in a full moon phase, which is good, and there's a big sandbar across this mouth. We're trying to hope that this full moon will push that tide up enough that we can get in there. We've got one, two, three, four, five big saltwater crocs here. We brought this water taxi, which has a little bit of a V-bow, but mainly flat bottom. So if it's a little bit too low in the full tide, we can get out and shove her up and just get in there and try to see what we can do. We really can't get out, three of us, and push a boat 100 yards with five crocs that we can see right now. We don't know what's really out of the water. I don't know about my mates, but uh, I like to keep my toes. So this is it, man. It's supposed to be snug cabin. We got about one hour to get it out. This is like a bowl in here. Work this edge up here. Is it snook or will we be snookered? Stay tuned. When you're fishing virgin water like this, you're on your own. You go for the tried and true attractor baits to see if anybody's home. Although I'm beginning to think that the crocs may have feasted and left very few leftovers. Also, the branches are positively filled with snakes, some of them pretty mean, and you don't want one of those babies dropping on a deck at your feet. No up? Yeah, it's closing up. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're closed off here. Um, you know, stuff grows over a period of time, obviously, and we're about two miles up, maybe a little bit more. We have had no snook bites. Um, and I guess there's a Obviously, a lot of growth, so we can't get up any farther than this. Maybe if we had a canoe, we could. Muchas gracias, my amigo. 
Terrible. Hey, I want to thank my friend Changa. So, but three day effort, 60 miles each way to get here, bring the boat over, fishing the rivers, not, not charted, and couldn't get to the massive school, big snook. But hey, it's a good time. So, we got to leave now because uh, the tide's starting to drop. And if we don't get out, we're not going to get out. Hey, you gotta try, right? One thing I do know is we still got a shot at a big rooster. We got some bad weather coming in, as you can see behind me here. That's a good thing, though. A lot of people don't think it is. These fronts come in, barometric pressure drops. Actually, when you get on these deep points in deep water, it really turns the bite on. Whoop. Rooster fish are really very smart fish. They like to turn around and race back at you, put a bow in your line so they can spit the hook. Let's see what we got here. Hold on, boys. Let's see what we got. Big guy. Nice rooster. That's the one. 